Welcome to Using Android Devices with the AAT. In this video, we'll show you how to control your AAT using an Android device. It's simple and efficient, using tools that you are already familiar with, your Android device and a web browser. Here's a quick preview. First, power on the AAT and wait for the AZM to begin flashing. Then, connect to the AAT hotspot with your Android device. Finally, open aat.sunsite.com in your browser or just touch the AAT homepage icon. And that's all there is to it. Once you've connected, you can do things like print site reports, email those reports to your customers, and much more. Using Android devices to connect to the AAT's internal web server allows you to access the user interface, or UI, enabling you to fully manage and or control the AAT. In the remainder of this video, we will cover a one-time setup for your Android device that enables you to efficiently control your AAT. We will cover how to set up a home screen shortcut to make accessing the AAT quick and easy. And we'll discuss Adobe's Acrobat Reader application for viewing PDF reports on your device. After a quick introduction on generating PDF reports, we'll show you a couple of ways to get the PDF reports to your customers. This video assumes that the AAT is powered on and ready for clients to attach to its internal hotspot. View the video entitled, Connecting to the AAT with the Android Phone, to learn about the AAT startup process. Keep in mind that only one user can control the AAT through its onboard website at a time. Multiple users connected at the same time is not supported. You'll need an Android device that is running version 4.0, also known as Ice Cream Sandwich, or later, in order to use it to control the AAT. In the demonstration, we will be using a Nexus 7 running Android 4.4.4, also known as KitKat, with the Google Chrome browser. Depending on the hardware and software version of your smartphone or tablet, this process may look slightly different than what is shown in the video. The good news is that connecting to the AAT's wireless network is identical to connecting to any wireless hotspot. So if you're having trouble figuring out how to do this, refer to the documentation that came with your device for additional assistance. Let's go ahead and watch the demonstration of using an Android device to control the AAT. The first step is to connect to the AAT's wireless network or hotspot. To do this, Touch or press the Home button on your Android device. Then touch the All Apps icon in the Favorites tray. Search for the Settings icon, swiping through the Apps icon pages as necessary, and touch it to launch the Settings application. Under Wireless and Networks, ensure Wi-Fi is on, and then touch Wi-Fi. This will bring up a list of available networks. The AAT hotspot has a network name beginning with AAT90 followed by a series of digits that represent the serial number of the unit. The serial number is on a printed decal affixed to the back of the tool. The first connection in the list is the network that the device is currently connected to. So if it is not the AAT hotspot, go ahead and find it in the list and then touch it to select it. A pop-up window will display the information about the AAT's wireless hotspot. Go ahead and touch the Connect button to select it. Now that we are connected to the AAT, we are ready to launch the user interface. To do that, you'll need to start the browser. So go ahead and touch or press the Home button on your Android device, and then touch the All Apps icon in the Favorites tray. Search for the Chrome icon, swiping through the app's icon pages as necessary, and touch it to launch the browser. To start the user interface, open an empty browser tab and in the address field, enter the URL aat.sunsite.com and then press Go. The AAT user interface homepage will be displayed and you're now ready to set up, manage profiles, and print reports. Alternatively, you can enter the IP address of the AAT, which is usually 192.168.0.50. Enter it exactly as shown, with the periods separating the four groups of digits. 
press the Go key and wait for the home page of the AAT user interface to display. To save time starting the AAT user interface in the future, you can create a shortcut on your home screen, which you can then tap to go directly to the AAT home page. If you purchased the Android phone option with your AAT, this was done for you at the factory. To add a shortcut to the home screen, start the browser and launch the AAT user interface by typing aat.sunsite.com in the address bar, and then touch the Chrome menu icon located to the far right of the address bar. Select Add to Home Screen and type in a name such as AAT and press the Add button. The shortcut will then be added to your home screen. From now on, after connecting to the AAT's Wi-Fi network, you can simply touch the shortcut icon in the home screen to start the AAT user interface instead of launching the browser and typing in the URL or IP address. Alternatively, you can create a browser bookmark as follows. Tap the bookmark icon, the little star to the right of the address bar, and enter the name you'd like to use. And in the URL field, remove everything past the trailing slash of aat.sunsite.com and touch Save. To access the bookmark later, simply touch the bookmarks icon at the bottom of an empty browser tab and then touch on the saved AAT bookmark to return to the home page. Sunsight recommends installing the free Adobe Acrobat application from the Google Play Store in order to view AAT reports in PDF format on your Android device. PDF format is a very convenient way to send reports generated by the AAT to your customers, usually via email. To install the Adobe Acrobat application, start the Google Play app by touching the Play Store icon in the Favorites bar on any home screen. You can also find the Play Store icon by touching the All Apps icon. In the search bar, type Adobe Acrobat to locate the free download and then install the application on your device. Note, your device must be configured with an account in order to access the Play Store. Refer to the documentation that came with your device for further information. Once you have completed your work using the AAT, you can generate site reports in Adobe PDF format to send to your customers. To generate a site report in PDF format, Touch the Profiles Captures Reports tab on the AAT website and then touch the PDF button next to the site that you want to report on, or select All PDF to report on all sites. The PDF report is generated and then automatically downloaded to the Android device. To view the PDF report, touch the Home icon and then touch the All Apps icon on the Favorites bar. Search for the Downloads icon and tap it to display the files that have been downloaded. Find the report in the Download area and then tap it. Select the Adobe Acrobat app to open the report and review it for accuracy. Now that the Site Report PDF files have been downloaded to your Android device, you can share them with others. In most cases, you'll want to email the generated PDF reports to your customers. In order to do this, an email account must be configured on your Android device, and you must be connected to the Internet, either via a mobile data connection or via a wireless connection with Internet connectivity. Refer to your Android documentation if you need assistance with configuring an email account on your device, or consult with your company's IT staff. Remember, the AAT's internal wireless hotspot does not have Internet connectivity. While attached to the AAT, however, you can generate and share the PDFs via email, they just won't be sent until the device is connected to the Internet. To email the report to a customer, touch the Home icon and then touch the All Apps icon on the Favorites bar. Search for the Downloads icon and tap it to display the files that have been downloaded. Find the report PDF in the list and then touch and hold the file in order to select it. Press the Sharing icon and select Gmail from the menu that appears. Compose your email and then press the Send icon to finish. In this demonstration, the Send icon is the one that looks like a paper airplane. You may wish to verify that the email with the report was sent successfully. 
Many Android devices allow you to connect the device to a laptop computer via a USB cable and transfer files via drag and drop. Some users may prefer to transfer the PDF reports generated by the AAT using this method, so let's take a look at how this can be done. Keep in mind, however, that because each Android device is different and how files are accessed on external devices can also vary by platform, covering the how-to of connecting Android devices to a laptop is beyond the scope of this video. As such, you will need to follow the instructions provided by your hardware manufacturer to connect your Android device to your laptop using the appropriate USB cable. In this video, the Nexus 7 tablet will be connected to a laptop computer running Windows 8. Start your Windows laptop as well as the Android device, making sure that the screen on the Android device is unlocked. Connect the device to the laptop using the appropriate USB cable. On most systems, Windows Explorer will automatically launch and display the internal storage on the Android device, allowing you to browse for files. You can also launch Windows Explorer, find your device under This PC, and then double-click the icon to open it. Double-click the Internal Storage Media, and then navigate to the Downloads folder. Once there, look for files that end with SiteReport.pdf. If you generated the All Sites Report, then you will see a file called AllSitesReport.pdf. If multiple copies of the same report exist for a specific site or capture, the browser adds a suffix to the file name to differentiate them. For example, SiteReport-1.pdf. In our example, the site is called TX-SAT2101, so our reports begin with TXSAT2101. Drag the PDF files from the Explorer window to the desktop or another folder for archiving, emailing, etc. And that's how you can transfer the PDF files from your Android device via USB. This concludes the video on using Android devices with the AAT. We've seen how to connect to the AAT's built-in Wi-Fi hotspot and launch the AAT user interface as well as how to create shortcuts for quickly navigating to the AAT's UI. We also discussed using the Adobe Acrobat application for viewing and managing PDFs. Finally, we learned how to generate a site report and email it to a customer, as well as how to transfer files from an Android device over a USB connection. If you need information on connecting to the AAT using iOS, Windows, or the optional Android phone available from SunSight, Refer to the specific training videos available on the training page at sunsite.com. Thanks for watching.